Hello everybody, this is your host Antonia and in this video I'm gonna show you how I record and edit my podcast. I am no audio engineer, I don't know much about editing sound, but this is a tutorial for all of you that struggle with that and I get perfect results every single time. It's obvious of course that you need to start with your hardware when you record your podcast. So I invested some good money in this microphone. It's really good it's made for podcasting so i will leave some links in the description so you can check it out online the next thing because this is xlr microphone i can just plug it in my laptop and go it's not a usb so i have my xlr cable to my audio interface which is evo 4. it's excellent because it's simple it has two inputs so i can actually have like a local podcasting rig if i ever wanted to but this is remote rig because i never record this with my co-hosts in the same room also evo 4 has excellent quality it's very easy to use like user experience in this audio interface is stellar so i warmly recommend if you don't know what to buy now let's talk about software for a bit you have tons of tools to choose from for recording your podcast but i have a little workflow that works for me it takes 10 minutes to edit podcast so first i need to capture audio i do that with audio hijack it's one-time payment and it's totally worth it and you can record anything not just your podcast with that so warmly recommend that too next up adobe has this secret podcast something happening like some tool it's still in beta and it's still like early access so not everybody can just like use it but over time i think i'm gonna switch to adobe podcast tool to just handle all my editing but what they offer right now on their website is you can just upload your track and after i don't know five to ten minutes it will spit out some quality perfect audio that you can just stitch in some tool maybe edit some silences gaps and so on and you have it you don't have to do anything no channel editing and i don't even know like all these terms for audio stuff anyways the last thing i use is actually final cut why well I am fast with shortcuts there because that's my main editing tool for videos so I know everything there so why not it's also very good for editing audio I use it for that it also has option to synchronize everything I will show you exactly how I do the thing I'm just giving you intro right now basically with this synchronizing thing I don't need to align tracks from my co-hosts and my track everything is just synced automatically I just put in intro in the beginning and that's all episode is ready i can just export upload to anchor and call it a day hardware setup is quite straightforward so let's jump into software and let's check how i do it this is my audio hijack setup it looks maybe a little bit intimidating when you open it but it's actually quite simple so over here i'm recording my good microphone and i'm doing some wizardry over here it's very simple stuff just like denoising and then for example this loud max is preventing peaking if i ever decide to scream during the episode recording some compressor um, for voice and then everything gets recorded into mp3 file what's happening over here this is where my host join and then we talk this is just literally simply recording into mp3 file but what i'm also doing is i'm stitching my side into this scratch track as well because this is gonna help me to sync everything so my side and my two co-hosts uh, tracks into one in final cut later i will show you the process how this goes but actually this part over here is the thing that makes editing much faster welcome to my fake podcast how do you feel I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm good. Well, if you're good, I mean, kitchen needs some uh, cleaning. It, so. I'm good, but I'm sick. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, thank you for this short demo. You can go and rest. I will do my editing All now. right. All right, bye. Bye. So this was just a little demo of podcast. Of course, we would talk for an hour or something. But anyways... This is what I have after I'm done with the podcast, this scratch file that I talked about. And I just noticed that I have a little space in file name. Ah, good catch. Anyways, the digressing over here can help it. I have my voice over here 
Then I have my guest's voice and this is Scratch file. I don't care about this, it can be the most horrible quality ever, but I just needed to sync it up later in Final Cut. So first I'm gonna run some audio magic from Adobe on this file. This will take for, I don't know, five to ten minutes, so be back. All right, I ran through Adobe tool both files, so my file and guest file over here. So I'm just going to take the scratch, guest and mine, click on synchronize clips. Okay, brum, 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 it's done. And then I'll just put it over here. And you can see that guest was recording much longer than I did over here. And uh, yeah, because of this scratch, file over here, everything worked like magic. You're almost done, you just need to disable or remove this scratch file, you don't need that. You need to cut end and beginning a little bit, maybe if you want trim some silences, but that's it. Your audio sounds perfect. Welcome to my fake podcast, how do you feel? I'm good, but I'm sick. Well, thank you for this short demo, you can go and rest, I will do my editing All now. Alright, right, bye. Bye.